So I spent a lot of time trying to look this look as perfect as I can, but my hair is not cooperating. My clothes ain't all shiki deaky. My makeup's pretty cool though. I don't know how I feel about this lip with it. Mm -hmm. But I'm done trying to act like I'm, you know, I'm just done trying to make myself look as perfect as I can because I ain't by any means. Hey guys, Tribute Forever here, and today we're going to be talking about depression, as you can tell from the title. Yeah, so I haven't posted a video in almost a month, probably a little over a month when this actually goes up. And I do apologize. I wanted to kind of talk about like what's been going on with me recently because I feel like I haven't been that open with you guys just because I don't have a large audience and sometimes I kind of feel like people don't really necessarily care to want to get to know my personal life, you know, on YouTube. So I just am careful about what I say or like how open I am but I realize like I'm going through some stuff and I feel like you guys as my viewers deserve to know. Hopefully it might possibly help someone else to feel like they can be open. Plus I feel like at the end of the day I want to be a very honest and genuine person and I feel like I owe it to you guys to be honest about like how I've been feeling and what's been going on and why and all that jazz. So without further ado we're gonna get into it. I will be posting regular videos very soon promise but i just didn't feel right about posting them and then posting this like this needed to come first you know so who inspired me to even film this was Alyssa forever i know that you guys probably know who she is she's a very big youtuber she has over a million followers beautiful black queen and she recently posted a video on depression and you know a lot of people were shocked because you know, you would think that someone who has like a super big following and is super gorgeous and gets all types of opportunities and brand deals would not have depression. And I was super like stunned myself. But at the end of the day, she's a human being just like the rest of us. And I feel like most everyone, most people. Sorry guys, Um, my sister came in and we had a little talk for a minute. But yeah, you wouldn't expect somebody of such beauty and status to deal with that. But then at the end of the day, I feel like most people, if not everyone, has had a hardship or a hard time in their life where they feel depressed. That's definitely where I'm at right now. In Alyssa's video, she was saying that she didn't particularly know exactly like what was wrong that was causing her to feel this way. But for me, I feel like I do know a couple of the reasons why. So I'll share some of them with you guys. If you've watched my videos within the past year or so, in almost all of my videos at some point I mentioned that I was moving and I did and I'm in an apartment now but we're going to be moving very soon again into a house because we moved here as like a little transition in between until we found a house. And our moving process, like when I say our, I mean my my family our moving process was really abnormal because it took over a year and we're still technically in the process because we haven't finished yet i can't give you guys like the full details but during that process i experienced a lot of like bullying i would say we had a lot of like repair people in our house at all times like we because we had to repair the house remodel the house stage the house and that took a long time which is why it took so long for us to like get the house sold that we were staying in but long story short some of the people who were like doing repairs on our house were very very judgmental they called me fat lazy and disgusting some of them refused to do work in my room because they said that i wasn't worthy of their services because they just assumed that because of my weight that I was just a fat lazy slob which is so far from the truth because I mean yeah I'm fat but I work hard as hell like at my job I work I'm, I'm sorry if I'm talking kind of low it seems like I'm talking low but my my familia is here and I don't necessarily want them to hear everything that I'm talking about even though they might watch this it was just really hard because like I couldn't really escape that 
because it was literally taking place in my home. And where do you go when you want to escape the troubles of the world, your home? But I couldn't do that. So it really played a toll on my self-esteem and it actually caused me to think so low of myself sometimes and feel so alone. And um, the moving process, it had a huge impact on my relationships because I was not able to like socialize and be a good friend to a lot of people because I spent all of my time like repairing the house and stuff when I wasn't at work. And as a result, I lost a lot of close friends and that was really hurtful and still is. A lot of my friendships are like different now. They're like, str like estranged, I guess. Like they're just not the same as what they used to be because I wasn't in a lot of people's lives for like a year. It was just the house, the moving thing was just a really, really big part of why I'm feeling this way now. At least why I was in 2016, that was a big part of my hardships. And also like family issues. I'm not gonna get into details on that, but my family just our entire family has been experiencing like a lot of hardships and it's been like really intense so if you guys could pray for my family that'd be awesome my channel at times <laughs> it's so hard like trying not to compare yourself to other people but like to be honest i've been on youtube for many many years and i do not have the success that i envisioned for myself by a long shot at this point in my YouTube career. I don't make any money off of YouTube. I don't get any sponsorships. I don't get any PR. I don't do, I don't get brand deals, which is not promised to you when you do YouTube. So it's not like I'm mad about it, but you know, I really do try hard to make my channel as the best I can. I can't afford a Canon camera. I can't afford a MacBook Pro. I can't afford, uh, you know, super, nice ring lights but i do the best that i can it's so crazy because like sometimes on a video i'll get over a thousand views and then other times i get like less than 30. sometimes i'll get a bunch of comments sometimes i'll get no comments at all and it just sometimes feels like i'm not good enough for youtube makeup is what i'm really passionate about and beauty and the beauty industry and the beauty community and it's really hard to make it on YouTube. But when I see people like, I don't know, it's not like, I'm not jealous of other people, but sometimes I just wonder, is this the path that I'm meant to be on? Because I feel like if it was, then I would be growing, but my channel grows extremely slow and I'm always open to control constructive criticism so please don't hesitate to you know leave some down below i'm just trying to share with you guys some of the things that have been happening just a very very few that have kind of led to me at times being in a very very deeply depressed state my job is another thing i've worked at the same job for over 10 years and i work for family and just imagine like being put in a position where you have to go against your boss slash family member and stand up for what you know is right, even though it means standing against that person that you care about, that you love, and that you've had a long history with, and as a result, losing your job and your security financially and that's the position i've been put in really recently and that i've been dealing with that which is why i haven't been filming as much recently it's just a lot of stuff that's been going on in my life and it just seems to be getting more and more intense because the job thing alone has been extremely stressful because it's like where am i what am i gonna do you know I've been applying for jobs, but because of my weight, I feel like people discriminate against me because I'm very professional and I'm a very hard worker. And I know that I'm very capable of doing many, many things. However, just like those people who judged me in my house, they thought I was fat, lazy, and disgusting. 
and an employer might think that too so that might be why i haven't been getting hired i don't know why do i share all this with you guys because i feel like it's really important to like talk about how you're doing and mental health and in the black community especially we ignore mental health like nobody's business or we tell each other to you know suppress it be strong um have faith in god and kind of pray it away and yes i am a christian and i have been putting my faith in god a lot but that does not necessarily eliminate the mental health issues that we face especially like you know black people we 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 do have mental health issues in our community and i don't know if you guys have heard of this but there's something called transgressional deep deposition transgressional deposition i'll leave a link down below so that you can read up on it but pretty much it says that as black people in our dna it is proven in our DNA that we carry the transgressions, the trauma, the mental health issues, um, the devastations that our ancestors did when they were enslaved. And too, too often in our community, the black community, we pretend as though we're super strong and we don't have these issues and we ridicule people when they speak up on these issues. I've heard many times like, Oh girl, you're not depressed. You don't you you haven't even you haven't even lived your life yet. Like you're not going through nothing. Be strong. Pray, to, you know. And that's just not good because I am very very blessed to have a lot of love and support in my life. Like my family is supportive, my friends are supportive. I know that you guys support me and I'm really really grateful for that. But there's people out there who don't have that support and you know as a result they can become suicidal or you know go out and commit a crazy crime it's just not good to ignore when people are going through something or when something's off with a person take some time to like show them a little love and listen to what they're going through because you never know what somebody is going through and i feel like Alyssa forever was a very very great example of that because i think that many of us would have never imagined that someone as amazing and seemingly happy as her would face depression but it just goes to show that money or power or status or beauty or whatever does not determine who's affected by it because i know that i'm very blessed i've had an amazing life i know that god loves me i have a loving family I have loving friends but at the same time sometimes i sink to this deep place so low and feel so depressed as if it's almost like i feel like i have no purpose at times and I know I shouldn't feel like that and it's a fight like you have to fight every day to like be strong enough to try to combat the depression that you're feeling and facing for those of you out there who are watching this thank you for you know listening to everything that I've had to say so far and um, I hope that you know that you can confide in me if you have nobody else out there that you feel cares i would love to be your friend and chat with you and listen to you and outpour love to you to let you know that you are beautiful and you have a purpose and as hard as it might seem and as low as you might feel we can both overcome this together and you're an amazing human being sorry i'm not like more smiley with it but depression is nothing to smile about it's not a joyous thing it's very serious and um yeah i just wanted to be honest with you guys about how i've been feeling lately so i hope that you guys I don't know like i hope maybe you learned something from it and maybe that this might help someone out there 
I hope that if you're feeling depressed or something, uh, if you want, I'm, I'm going to leave my email in the description bar below so that you guys can contact me if you feel like you need somebody to talk to and you feel like no one else will listen. I would love to talk with you because I feel like it's so important to have somebody in your corner when you're going through a dark time. Don't worry about me too much, guys, because I will be okay. I know that God puts us through trials. Sometimes in life, we have to face trials and tribulations, and I do believe that I will overcome all of the things I'm fighting right now and be a stronger person in the long run, but it's just hard sometimes when you're not mentally, you know, right. So, I hope that you guys appreciate this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. And let's just have a talk in the comments below about like how how you guys are doing. Like are y'all doing okay? Do you want to talk privately? It is cool. I don't know. I just I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, guys. I just hope that this video might have helped somebody um regular beauty vids will be back up very 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 soon so yeah thank you guys so much for listening and i love you guys and i'll see you next time